The Reserve Bank of India has flagged concerns over the pricing of loans by a few microfinance institutions. This is the first time the banking regulator has raised the issue after the pricing of loans given by these entities were freed in March 2022, bringing them on par with banks. Guidelines until then had it that MFIs could charge on loans only 10 to 12 percentage points above the institution's cost of funds or 2.75 times the average base rate of the five largest commercial banks, whichever is lower. RBI Deputy Governor M. Rajeshwar Rao on February 9 said that while lenders were quick to pass on the increased costs to borrowers, they have been reluctant to pass on the benefits envisaged under the new framework. He made it clear that irresponsible practices would compel the RBI to act. Some MFIs have been reportedly pricing loans at 25% thereabouts, which on a year-on-year -year basis nearly up by 200 basis points. So, are microfinance institutions being unfair? It's not uh, absolutely true that uh, the MFI sector, MFI in, um, institutions are uh, overcharging the borrowers. Mm -hmm. I agree with you that uh, the pricing has gone up since the COVID time. Mm -hmm. It is mainly on account of three factors. Mm. One, uh, uh, the overall pricing has gone up across board during this period. Mm. Um, number two, there was a cap earlier on interest rates put by the Reserve Bank of India, which is more of an artificial in nature. Mm. And third one, I would say that uh, the credit losses uh, suffered by the microfinance institutions during the COVID period, mm. which is still impacting them. So because of these three things, the interest rates are a li little higher. According to the report on trend and progress of banking in India, during the financial year 2022-23, MFIs outpaced banks in microcredit disbursements, emerging as the largest provider of credit with nearly 40% share in the microfinance segment. Rao's observation resonated in the RBI's report as well. It said, MFIs cater to marginalized clientele, the repayment capacity of borrowers need to be considered while extending loans. With the deregulation of interest rates, certain MFIs appear to be enjoying relatively higher net interest margins. And microfinance lenders, therefore, need to ensure that flexibility provided to them is used judiciously through transparent interest rate setting processes not correct to compare the interest rates of microfinance institutions with any other institution, especially the banks, because mm. banks have always have a huge resource uh, uh, through the deposits, which are mm. a cheaper source of funds. Whereas in case of microfinance institutions, they have to borrow from the banks or NBFCs, which make it more expensive. And there is a double interpretation happening. So it's an expensive mm. one than the banks. But this is always helpful to the poorer segment of the people who do not get the credit from the banking sector on the normal channel. The hope is that with a policy rate cut by the central bank sometime around the time of the full budget, after the poll results come in this summer, there could be a southward movement in interest rates. The MFIs will glide along. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. I am the blue of the limitless sky. I am the inspiration that led success so high. I will achieve. Trusted Bank, SBI, the banker to every Indian.